That is the kind of sound that's going to strike terror in many people's hearts. That was blared across the coastal areas of the state of Hawaii about an hour and 45 minutes ago. You can see that uh, going in a 360 degree direction to make sure that everybody within earshot gets this siren warning them that a tsunami is approaching the state of Hawaii. This, of course, having been generated by that 8.8 .8 massive earthquake on the other side of the Pacific Ocean there in Chile, about 220 miles south of the capital of Santiago near Concepcion, but this has generated a tsunami. Now, what we're getting last word from the U.S. Navy, they have said that it appears to be about two feet high. Do not be fooled by that number, which would seem by many of your uh, standards, well, a wave only two feet high. That is not how tsunamis work. It may be two feet high now in terms of what it levels above the surface of the ocean, but as it approaches the coastline where the incline of of the beach uh, heads upwards that will also increase the height of that wave and what else is considering uh, considerable about tsunamis a wave will hit and then it's not over there will be a subsequent series of waves they can last half an hour they can last an hour they can last a full 24 hours depending on the velocity and all of the energy that has been gathered as this tsunami makes its way across the Pacific now having said all of this officials there in Hawaii are feeling good about things right now. They are aware of this tsunami and being uh, issuing these blaring warnings this morning. They are moving people to higher ground. And the two U.S. senators from Hawaii are saying, don't panic, everyone. Listen to your local authorities and follow procedures.